Ano ang koneksyon ni Father Suarez sa COVID-19? Mga ka-faith, una sa lahat, gusto kong pasalamatan lahat ng mga sumuporta at bumili ng ating mga merchandise item. I am proud Catholic, Katoliko ako. Hello mga ka -faith. Welcome again to my vlog. My name is Adrian Milag. Alam nyo, natanong nyo na ba to? Ako natanong ko to eh. Bakit last year, di ba yung namatay si Father Suarez, February 4 yun, and di ba March yun ang start ng lockdown uh, dito sa Pilipinas dahil nag-spread na ngayong COVID-19. Pero parang isipin natin, no? Father Suarez has a gift of healing. Ma-hospital ka nga lang sa COVID-19 is gagastos ka ng 300,000 to 500,000. And yet, itong healing priest na to ay namatay ng February before magkaroon ng pandemic at lockdown dito sa Pilipinas. Inisip natin, Lord, bakit mo namang ginawa yun? Bakit mo kinuha si Father Suarez? At marami siya matutulungan kung hindi siya kagad namatay. Ano nga ba talaga ang purpose? Bakit kinuha ni Lord kagad ng February 4 si Father Suarez? Natanong mo na ba yun? Bakit? Diba? Today, ay very interesting tong isi-share ko sa inyong uh, interview ko kay Brother Louie. And I'm sure kung napanood mo na yung recent vlog ko about him, he has this amazing gift of understanding and interpretation at grabe yung pag-connect-connect niya sa mga bagay-bagay na talaga nag, nagbibigay siya ng mga data na very reliable and hindi lang to parang gawa-gawa or invento. Makikita mo talaga yung connection kung paano niya nakonekan lahat at grabe yung taong to sobrang na ako sa kanya. Today gusto ko i-share sa inyo mga kafit yung naging interview ko kay Brother Louie at paano niya nakonek Si Father Suarez sa COVID-19. Okay, so watch this interview. He's a healing priest. So, di ba alam ni Lord na magkakaroon ng COVID? So, dapat... <laughs> exactly. Oh, yan, yan. Okay, that's a, that's a great... Thank you. Thank you for that segue. That's, uh... that's a great segue. That's a very good segue. Kasi di ba parang um, magkano ba pa hospital ng COVID? 500, oh 300, oh 500,000, di ba? Yes, oh. bro, and, and, and I, uh, 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 a member of my group just told me now, even if not for COVID, today, if, um, if you go to the hospital, you have mm -hmm. to pay for the PPE. Ay, grabe naman. Oh, so, yung, uh, yung, yung, um, ano ba yun? Uh, yeah, constipation. Constipation. You have to stay in the hospital for three days. The bill, the bill, this, this was the child of, of, a member of BCBP. Constipation. Uh, constipation. Constipation. Uh -huh. Kasi, may, may talaga masakit ba? So, they had to, uh -huh. they had to admit him. The bill rocked up to around 150,000. Grabe naman. Because of the PPE. Because of, there's a virus going on. So, mm -hmm. so, you, you, we cannot afford to, to be hospitalized. Mga pinagpangas ko bid yan eh. Exactly. Exactly. So, so anyway, diba? Exactly, exactly. Mm. So now, good segue, COVID. Okay, let's go. Let's nga, talk about that. Parang mas kailangan siya kasi oh, pinipin priest. Oh, oh, that's really one. That's really one of my uh, uh, sorrows, Lord. But kasi hindi ko pa alam ito ba? Hindi ko pa alam. Tama, tama, tama. Lord, but oh, ito, so this was when I did not know this. Mm. Lord, but ba ba bakit kinuha mo? May COVID. This would, mm. okay, let, me, let me read what I wrote up. Um, perhaps every follower of Father Suarez still wonders uh, why he died before the onset of the quarantines and the lockdowns under uh, contra the COVID-19 pandemic. 
he could have had the opportunity to heal those infected by the virus all for God's glory but that took that opportunity away from him so ito rin yung tanong ko before I, I learned about before I learned about the identical years and everything so but now I know so oh okay so it was okay okay Lord uh, we I guess we'll just have to live with it na it's your plan you, you, you parang sabi oy oy pinan uh, I already planned that since 1992 you mm-hmm. you don't get to mess 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 with my plan it was already my plan you have to deal with covid yourself parang so it's like okay I guess we have to anyway we, we if if if, you, if he's in heaven he can pray for us okay there's nothing stopping him so so yeah but but then I discovered something na uh, teka mm-hmm. may connection din yung death ni Father Suarez sa COVID and ito na wow. ito nyo galing eh yeah. oh. yes yes oh this will blow you away oh. grabe ah okay. yung mga sinabi mo palang kanina talagang mind <laughs> <laughs> blowing sumabog na utak oh. ko eh bro bro remember bro yung sinabi ko kanina bro it's just oh. one chapter of my book It's just one chapter mm, of my book. Mm. Okay? Nah. This is this this COVID. This is another chapter of my book. And this is just part of a chapter. Okay? Now, mm. when it comes to COVID, the saint the saint is Saint Rock or San Roque. Okay? Yes, yeah, Saint. Now, mm. San Roque. Alam natin 'yan, di ba? Kasi yes. every time we we attend every time we participate in the Holy Mass, <clears throat> sa oras o oratio imperata yeah, oh Roque, tama diba? so, diba? St. Saint Rock pray for us St. Raphael, St. Roque diba? San, San mm. Raphael, San Roque and then our Filipino saints diba? uh, St. Uh. Uh, Lorenzo Ruiz and St. Pedro Calumso so kasama doon si San Roque mm. kasi nga si San Roque when he was alive uh, there was a plague a plague going on and he really healed he healed a uh, He healed a lot of people. If you read your life in San Roque, he healed a lot of people. He 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 makes the sign of the cross, okay, on the people. Yun yung ano na? Yun yung parang parang gesture niya, parang ritual niya. Si Father Suarez when he heals, uh, he makes sure to say the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Glory be. Okay, ito yung ito yung necessary prayers. That's how he healed. Yun yung yun yung kay Father Suarez na style, yung method niya. Yung kay, kay San Roque, it was, it was the cross, okay? So, so he's there. He's there in the Uratio Imperata. Okay? Because, yun nga, yun nga. He was, uh, he was, um, he was healed. He, he healed a lot of people. Kaya nga yung, like, if you, if you, if you see an image of, and, and eventually, eventually, bro, si San Roque got infected by the plague. Ah, okay. If you look, if you can, if you look, look at the images of San Roque, Makikita mo, 'di ba? Parang inaangat niya yung yung parang dress niya. Yung mahabang tunic niya na pinapakita niya yung binti niya. Kasama ba 'yung sa picture na sinan mo? Wala, no? Oh, wala, wala, wala akong picture kay kay, kay Saint, sa, San Roque. Pero if you remember, have you seen an image of, of San Roque? Can ah, you still remember what it looks like? Yes, ito tinitingnan ko. Okay, good, good. Yeah, oo, oh, tama. Okay, nga. di ba, ina, inaangat niya yung yung tunic niya. Ina-expose niya yung parang binti niya, tuhod niya. And and then slightly mm-hmm. above the knee. Kasi mm-hmm. yan yung, yan yung, yan yung, if, yan, yan yung uh, sign that he was infected by the plague. Okay? Oh. Oh, yung, yung, oh, oh, yan, yan, yan. Yan, sometimes yung, yung, yung wound na yan, Uh, yung sugat na yan nasa, nasa tuhod sometimes below the knee sometimes it's above the knee but it's, it's always on, uh, on the leg so y- yung wound na yan yung, yung sugat na yan anong plague yun? The, anong plague yun? Um, uh, bubonic plague yung parang dala ng mga mga daga mga rats ah, so yun yung ito, ito, ito yung ito yung black plague of Europe the black plague hmm. famous black plague yung maraming ano Maraming uh, namatay. The Black Plague uh, of Europe. So, so um, San Roque was a healer. He healed so many of, of, of them. 
that in, got infected the play, by the plague, and then he also got infected. But he eventually, bro, he got healed. He got healed. Now, why San Roque? What's his connection with Father Suarez? You say, is there any? Okay. Now, ito yung ito yung parang ah uh, hindi hindi ito nasama sa movie. Sayang ay eh. sabi ko. Sayang dapat sinama yun sa movie na yun. And then, you know, in 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 all honesty, I I talked to many of your closest the closest the persons closest to father. They don't even realize this. Okay? Now, you have to remember this. Let's go back sa sa, sa story ng movie. Sa movie, Father Suarez accidentally by accident, he healed someone sa Quiapo, di ba? Yes, si Gina okay. Pareño. I, yung you played by Gina Pareño, yung coma, mm-hmm. yung paralyzed woman. Paralyzed for Spoiler tayo, no. <laughs> yeah, so, but, but it's it's an it's a known fact na. Eh. It's a known uh, fact na. Oh, in and in, in, in the yung sermons ni Father Suarez, he keeps mentioning that story na much. Sharing it, no. So, oh. So, that happened when he was 16 years old. Okay? 16. Oh. Ah, fresh out of high school fresh out of high school okay it happened in the summer of 1983 1983 mm. the summer of 1983 i'm i'm thinking um because Quiapo is in manila diba? father suarez lives in in taal batangas right so what was he mm. doing in manila i think i think he was already enrolling at Adamson University as engineer Kaya na, oh yung summer na yun, probably he's going there to enroll at Adamson and to find a boarding house alam na diba? you know the works when you're from a very far province diba? that's yes. that's the first things you do it find a school find a boarding house and then he went he went to Quiapo first pumasok muna siya sa minor basilica of Poong Nazareno he, he prayed first he prayed first Liquid. sa Poong. Oh, oh. And then... Palagi ako nandoon dati eh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I need to visit that place someday. So, he, he prayed very shortly. And then he stepped out sa, sa Basilica. When he stepped out, he saw that paralyzed woman. And that's when he approached. Okay, so he came he came from inside the... the no. And he, he prayed. And... Ba? So, you can say, ah... Yung, yung pagpasok niya sa poong Nazareno, Basilica, uh, yun yung ano, yun yung parang dun binigay ni Lord. Diba? Baka dun binigay yung power to heal. Oh, but, parang Padre Pio, yun, no? Yes, parang Padre Pio. Now, now, but actually, mm-hmm. uh, for me, there was a sign already na merong gift si Padre Suarez na to heal. And not only to heal, not only heal just one or two, but to heal many like San Roque. And this is this is what I discovered. Hmm. When he was when he was so so Father Suarez went to Governor Feliciano Leviste Memorial High School in the municipality of Lemery in Batangas. So walking hmm. distance lang sa Barangay Butong, yung yung place yung, yung bahay niya, yung home niya nasa Barangay Butong municipality of Taal. So he walks all the way to that high school in in the neighboring municipality of Lemery. Okay? Mm-hmm. So he walks up every walks to school. So imagine every school day he goes there. Now a a block a block before this high school door, before this national high school, one block before that, there is a parish church. So ang, ang ritual ni Father Suarez when he goes to school no more when he comes back. But when he goes to school, he always stops. No, 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 he walks one more block and he goes to the school. Diba? So, for four years, uh, ideally five school days, for four years, 
Father Suarez keeps doing this every school day. On the way to school, stop by this parish, pray, and then go to go to school. The following day, same, 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 same. same. The name of the parish in Lemery, in Batangas, Parroquia de San Roque. Wow. Mm. Parroquia de San Roque. Mm. Four years. Four years he went there. And after he graduated, but before university, that summer, suddenly he can heal people just like San Roque. Now, some some would some would argue, may 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 nag-argue dito, bro. Na, hindi si San Roque yun, si Poong Nazareno yun. Kasi doon siya na eh. But remember, San Roque can heal. It's because of, of God, which is the Poong Nazareno, di ba? Mm, okay. Mm, Now, mm. you also, but besides that, because all saints are connected to the Lord, there's one more, there's one more connection. Um, Bro, si Poong Nazareno, ano yung Ano yung ano yung binubuhat niya? Cruz. Yung cross, 'di ba? Sa sobrang bigat ng cross, parang nakaluhod yung isang isang tuhod niya, yes. 'di ba? Mm. Okay. So, yung isang tuhod niya, parang 'di ba, 'di ba he kneels on on one knee? Mm. So that means yes. yung knee na yon, yung knee na yon has the more damage than the other knee, right? Diba? Mm. Kasi nga the weight of the cross is on that knee. Kasi isang isang knee lang eh. Yung nakaluho, di ba? Tama. Tama. Sa image ni San Roque, ano yung pinapa, ano yung ini-expose ni San Roque? Yung knee din, no? yung tama. Yung tuhod, yung, yung tuhod niya. <laughs> yung tuhod niya. Hindi ba yan? May isa pa. May isa pa. Di ba? Si, si San Roque is connected to poong Nazareno. They have injured knees. Injured ah. legs. Kasi okay. yung po Nazareno, he it, it's only kneeling on one knee. It's not two knees, it's only one knee. So yung mm. knee niya, it's one knee, one knee is more damaged than the other knee of the Lord because because of the weight of the cross. So they are connected by the knees, isang roke. But there's even more. He said, ang binubuhat ni, ang binubuhat ni ni ano, ni ang binubuhat ni ni San Roque. I am sorry, ni Poong Nazareno is the cross. Okay? Now, uh, uh, this one, you, you will have to read the life of, of, of San Roque. When he was born, he had a birthmark. San Roque has a birthmark. Ano yung, ano yung Tagalog sa birthmark, bro? Balat. Balat. May balat <laughs> si San Roque. Huh. May balat si San Roque. Alam mo, Sad. San Roque. Alam mo, guess, guess saan yung balat ni San Roque. Sa... The clue is the Nazareno. Sa ni? The clue is the Sa tuhod? No, no, no. no, no. Sa balita. Sa ah. shoulder. May balat doon sa San Roque. Okay? Not only that, this is the best part. Yung balat ni San Roque, which, by the way, as San Roque grew, grew, the, yung birthmark also grew in proportion. Sa, may sa may picture sa ni Chura nun? Wala, wala, wala picture. Hindi yan, hindi, hindi yan captured sa mga images. Unfortunately, you have to read, you have to read yung, yung original documents ng life ni San Roque. You have to read it to, to know that. But, but I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link yung, yung, sige, sige. yung tinatawag, tinatawag yan eh. Uh, the Vita, the life, the life of a saint. The Vita of San Roque, it's there. That when he was born, he had a birthmark on the shoulder. As he grew up, The, the size of the birthmark also grow, grew in proportion with the rest of his body. Now, the best part, guess the shape of the birthmark. Nakita ko sa mga comment, cross daw. Cross. Exactly. Wow. On the shoulder of San Roque is a birthmark in the shape of the cross. The Poong wow. Nazareno carries the cross on one shoulder. He kneels with one knee, which makes the knee more damaged than the other. In the image of San Roque, he lifts his tunic to show you his knee, which has a wound. So mm-hmm. they are connected. In other words, San Roque was interceding 
for Father Suarez since first year high school to become a healer like him someday. And the Lord answered San Roque's prayer. This Again, this is my understanding. The Lord answered San Roque's prayer. Na sa when, oh, when, 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 when Padre Suarez finally graduated from high school, when he could no longer go frequently to the San Roque Parish near his high school, and when he went to the Pong Nazareno, which is connected to San Roque by the knee and by the shoulder, that's when Padre Suarez got his gift to him. Boom! Wow. That's when he got his gift. Galing, oh. Oh, oh. Mm. There's more. There's more. There's more. Now, So, ba- baka sabihin lang, ah, wala yan. Nangyari nga yan nung, ano, yung, nung bata pa si Padre Suarez. Yun lang yun, isang beses lang yun. Wala nang pakialam si San Roque sa buhay ni Padre Suarez. Yun lang yun. That was yes. only one time. That one time. Okay, no, it's not. It's not the only time. Okay, now let's go to last year. This day, last year. Okay. Mm-hmm. By this time, By this time, Padre Suarez is already declared dead uh, an hour ago. That's you. Okay. He yes. was declared dead because it's already almost it's four. four. It's four now. Mm. Um, he was he was he was already he was declared dead at three o'clock last year. He was he, again he was rushed to Asian uh, Hospital. Asian uh, yeah, let me let me just uh, Asian Hospital at ayun eh. And medical center, di ba? Ma- yun yung ano? Yes, uh, may oh. alabang. May alabang, okay. But are you're familiar with that place? Yes, yes, oh. Okay, good. Ako, It's eh. good. Good. good, very good. Okay, very good. You should you should know, you should know. You should know. Okay, it's wonderful. It's wonderful that you know. It's good that you know that place. All the more you'll be surprised. Okay, so Asian, uh, yeah, Asian, uh, let me see. Where is that? Where is that? Let me find that. Uh, Asian... Asian Hospital and Medical Center. I was right. Okay, so he was rushed there. And sabi ko, before, mm-hmm. before we started the show, actually, actually, wala na. On the way there, wala na si Father. According to, you know, according to my source, wala na si Father. But of course, they had to wait until they get to the hospital and declare him dead. Because that is protocol. Okay. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Five, a five-minute drive from the hospital, five mm. minute car drive, 16 minute walk, 16, because I checked this, I use Google, Google Map, I use Google Map, mm. so 16, 16 minutes, 16 minute walk, five minute drive, there is a laboratory bro, near Asian hospital, oh. there is a laboratory, okay, now the name of this laboratory is the research Institute for Tropical Medicine, R-I-T-M, okay? Ito yun. Yes, yes, yes. At the start of the quarantines, at the start of the of the lockdowns, at the start of the of the pandemic, do you do you remember that name, R-I-T-M? Hindi na. Uh, hindi na. Hindi na. Okay, it's okay. I'll tell you what that is. I'll tell you what that is. So, oh. yung unang cases, yung unang suspected cases ng COVID-19 na pumas, it, it, it came from someone ah. uh, that, that came from Wuhan, China, di ba? Kasi oh, yun yung ground zero. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, it came from Wuhan, China. And they, uh, na. Yes, there were, there were tourists there who uh, flew all the way to the Philippines. Okay. And in, infected na pala sila nun. Now we did remember we did not have a, we did not have a laboratory anywhere in the Philippines that was mm. equipped to test to detect uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus. We did not have that. Only RITM. Only RITM. I see. Okay. So yung 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 mga samples ng mga unang suspected cases ng COVID-19 were sent there. They were tested there. They were detected there. For I think this went on for many months kasi 
Wala pa nga yes, na credit. Oh, wala pang na credit noon. Remember, this is February 2020. February mm-hmm. March more or less. Wala pang na credit noon. It was only the RITM who, who, who does the testing. So, mm. that is the nearest institute to the hospital that declared Father Suarez medically dead. Mm. Doesn't it seem strange? I... Na, teka, bakit dito? Hindi napaka... Okay, but there's more. So, I thought, you know, there has to be more. There has to be more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got the idea, bro, now. What what connects the Asian, the Asian yeah, so, hospital and other Besides the fact that besides the fact that they are they are in the same barangay. Okay, so what's the well, what's the big deal? They are in the same barangay. Right? Okay. So okay, so let me let, so I tried to find a, a more a more uh a more a stronger a stronger connection between the hospital and the institute, the research institute. Could it be? Hmm. I got this idea, bro. I got an idea. So I look it online. I, I look at a, a certain kind of uh, establishment, a kind of place. So I, I look at it nearby, nearby mm-hmm. this place. So may listahan. Ito, 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 ito. So when when I look at the hospital, yung nearby place is ito. Pero ito sa institute iba, iba yung nearby. Sabi ko, ah, hindi mag-work to. Kasi iba-iba. Ang ibig kong sabihin, parokya. Parang, oh. iba-iba ang parokya nila. Diba? It has to be a parish. Yes, yes. Because a parish makes sense to us Catholics. Because a parish is Catholic. Father Suarez is a Catholic. Diba? So, it has to be a Catholic. Yes. Alam ka diba? naman, Baptist Church nandun. <laughs> exactly, exactly. There has to be a Catholic connection between the hospital and the research institute. So the, the 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 connection that I can think of is uh, territory. Ano? Are do they belong to the same Malapit parish? Mm-hmm. Oh. So so I was about I was about to give up because it looks like on the on Google Map it looks like they belong to different parishes. But something bothered me. Uh, uh, no no contact contact the parishes as as. So so on on what I contacted the parish. Uh, I mean. I mean the institute, the parish nearest the institute. Sabi ko, uh, uh, yung yung RITM does that belong to you? Sabi sabi ng parish, no no sir, uh, it belongs to the other parish. Sabi ko, are you sure? Kasi napakalapit ng ano eh, ng, ng institute sa inyo eh. Are you sure hindi to kasama sa sa parish no? No, we're sure sir, we're sure. It really belongs to the other parish. So I I, I contacted the other parish. I asked the parish, uh, are, does this Asian Hospital and Medical Center belong to you? Yes, it belongs to us. Does the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine belongs to you? Yes, it belongs to us. Are you sure? It's very far from you. Yes, it belongs to us. So, I confirm na yung parish na yun, so, the one, one parish, the parish nearest the institute said, they are not the parish, it's that other parish. That other parish confirmed Yes, we are that parish. The hospital and the institute belong to us territorially. The hospital that declared Father Suarez dead and the hospital and the research institute that detected the first cases of COVID-19. Guess hmm. the name of this parish. San Roque. San Roque de Alabang Parish. Wow. 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 Oh. So when Father Suarez, even in his death, San Roque is still connected to him. Mm. He he was declared dead in the parish of San Roque. And in that parish is the first laboratory that tested the first COVID-19 cases. COVID. So, wow. diba? And remember, Galing, eh? And less less we forget San Roque is a patron against COVID-19. 
It's in the Oratio Imperata. Diba? Yes, yes. So, Father Suarez, by his connection to San Roque, could he be connected to COVID-19? Could it be that God wants Father Suarez, dare I say it, an intercessor against COVID-19? I mean, Amen. San Roque, after all, interceded for him to receive the gift of miraculous healing in his visits to his parish in high school. And now mm-hmm. in his death, San Roque is still connected to him. Diba? So, maybe that's the reason why God took Father Suarez just before the onset of the quarantines and the lockdowns. Because he meant Father Suarez to become an intercessor against for the world. COVID-19. And it, it makes sense, bro, because you know, I know, and I told you, even now, Father Suarez makes miracles. You watch yes. his video, his healing yes. videos in YouTube. Yes. You watch yes. them. You watch the movie all the way to the end. There's a there's the, the last scene there when he gives his last message and he, he heals. He still heals. This is why God took Father Suarez because he can do so much more in heaven. Wow. Especially because the time of pandemic has arrived. To, 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 to borrow a phrase you said a while ago before we aired, we started airing, because the perfect storm has arrived. Amen. Diba? Amen. Ayan mga ka I'm sure na sobra tayong na-bless sa shiner ni Brother Louie. And make sure mga ka na i-share mo tong vlog na to sa mga friends and relatives mo, sa mga taong alam mo na sobrang mabe-blessed at magbe-benefit sa vlog na to. And after this vlog, make sure na i-check mo din yung iba ko pang vlog dyan sa may video section. Okay, so thank you so much. God bless you more abundantly. Alam ko marami sa inyo ang mag-agree sa akin dito that this pandemic taught us many lessons in life. At isa sa naging impact sa akin ng pandemic na to that made me uh, realize is yung maging intentional ako sa pag-save at pag-invest ko. Kasi sabi nga ng isa sa financial mentor ko, eto tandang-tanda ko to palagi, itong uh, financial advice niya sa akin. Sabi niya sa akin, that you saw in times of famine. Talagang tumatak to sa akin, that's why uh, itong crisis na na-experience natin ngayon, ito yung opportunity sa atin na mag-save at mag-invest through the stock market. Bakit? Dahil ang, ang stock market is tested and proven na to. In times of uh, mga crisis na, na ganito, mga famine, na itong mga biggest company okay, na nandyan sa stock market, ay they can bounce back easily okay, after this crisis. Kaya nilang bumalik kaagad at wow! makarecover pag, pagtapos ng crisis na to. That's why tama yung financial mentor ko that you saw in times of famine. I'm really blessed dahil merong isang community na tinatawag na Truly Rich Club. So, ano nga ba itong Truly Rich Club? This is a financial platform na dito ka tuturuan ng mga do's and don'ts in investing in the stock market. Itong Truly Rich Club ay founded by Brother Bo Sanchez. Kung hindi mo kilala si Brother Bo Sanchez, isa siyang proud Catholic. Alam mo ba yon? Isa siyang Catholic preacher at the same time, isa din siyang financial mentor. Ang tao nga sa kanya is isa siyang misyonaryong milyonaryo. Natuto siya mag-save at mag-invest sa stock market. So, ano nga ba itong Truly Rich Club? Alam mo, ang stock market, uh, marami sa atin iniisip na parang komplikado, na mahirap. Pero sa totoo lang, stock market para lang yung ABC. Kung meron lang tamang mentor at community uh, na magtuturo sa iyo. If you want to know more about stock market, I invite you to join the Truly Rich Club. Kung ano nga ba ang Truly Rich Club, ipapanood ko sa iyo itong video na to by Brother Bo Sanchez. Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez. Do you want guidance for your financial growth? Alam ko, meron ka mga financial dreams. Meron ka mga pangarap sa buhay. Gusto mong tumulong sa mga mahal mo sa buhay. There are certain dreams that you have and they require money. 
Gusto mong mag-donate sa simbahan. Ang dami mong kabutihan na gusto mong gawin. And what I'd like to share with you is we started 13 years ago the Truly Rich Club. Ang dami-dami na namin natulungan para paano ba? Paano ba mag-grow? Paano ba mag-save? Paano ba mag-invest? Paano ba mag-invest sa stock market? Paano ba magkaroon ng bagong mindset na iba na ang relationship mo sa pera? Healthy na! You know, for many people, it's a dysfunctional relationship. No, we, we're gonna help you have a healthier relationship with money. Babalik ako sa stock market. We will even tell you what stocks to buy and what stocks to sell every month. We're going to do that. We're going to guide you. You know, um, I, we've had the joy. Now, for the past 13 years, marami na kaming mga members na nakita namin na go grow sa financial life. Yung iba naging millionaire na at multi-billionaire after years of investing. Friends, can I warn you? Hindi po ito rich quick scheme. Hindi po. Kung gusto niyo po yon. Don't listen to me. Naku, maraming scam dyan. Delikadong delikado yan. Ito, napakabagal. Pero, may katahimikan at makakatulog ka sa gabi. Bakit? Yung pera mo that we will tell you, o doon mo ilagay, o dito mo ilagay, mga higanteng kumpanya na for the next 10 years, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, nandyan yan, hindi mawawala yan, parang bula. I want you to know, ito yung gusto namin para sa'yo certain financial growth over time na may katahimikan sa puso. No? And, and I want to invite you, come, join us, investigate, learn more about the Truly Rich Club. Click that link now, get to know about the Truly Rich Club on how you can reach your financial dreams. God bless you. Iwo walk through kita dito sa magiging benefit mo as being member of True Rich Club. So every day magkaka-access ka sa God Whisper. So itong Quick Start Gold dito, iga-guide ka paano ka mag-open ng stock broker mo kung saan ka magsisimula mag-invest na sa stock market. Pag nag-invest ka kasi sa stock market, kailangan mo ng stock broker. So ang nirerecommend na stock broker ng True Rich Club is yung COL Financial. So dito iga-guide ka kung paano mag-start at magbukas ng account mo sa COL Financial. Pinaka-powerful dito sa True Rich Club as being a member. Uh, ito talaga yung pinaka-gusto ko sa True Rich Club. Itong yung mga recommended stocks okay, ng TRC. Ito yung tinatawag na Blue Chips. They are the biggest company here in the Philippines pag tinawag na Blue Chips. Sila yung mga company na, na nandyan for the next uh, 20 to 50 years na alam mo na hindi sila magsasara kasi sila yung mga biggest tycoons and taipans. Sila yung mga pinakamalaking negosyante dito sa Pilipinas. So, dito sa some table nandito yung mga re- recommended price. Bibilin mo itong mga stocks na to. Hindi ka lang basta-basta kasing uh, bibili dyan ng stocks eh. Kung yung growth niya ba is worth it sa pagbili mo ng, ng stocks. Kunyari ito, makikita mo kung 10% growth, 7%. Uh, eto malaki, 57% growth uh, for the next 5 to 10 years kung ano yung magiging growth ng investment mo. So, isa to sa magiging benefit mo once na naging member ka ng True The Rich Club. And ito rin sa pinakagusto ko sa True The Rich Club, yung Gold Call. Dito sa Gold Call, dito ini-interview ni Brother Bo Sanchez yung kanya mga wealth mentor. They are the good rich people here in the Philippines. Uh, matututo tayo ng kanilang mga mindset uh, perspective, yung mga success habits na sobrang makakatulong sa atin, ba? So, sabi nga, kung gusto mo maging successful, ay makinig ka sa mga successful na tao. Isa din to sa pinakagusto ko sa True Ridge Club ay yung mga power talks ni Brother Bo Sanchez. Alam mo ba na si Brother Bo Sanchez, isa siya sa most sought after uh, motivational speaker here in the Philippines. Alam mo ba na yung mga company Yung mga malalaking company ay binabayaran si Brother Bo Sanchez ng almost 300,000 pesos wow! para lang mag-talk siya okay? sa mga event nila. And dito sa True The Rich Club, ma-access mo yung mismong mga inspirational talk. Tinutalk ni Brother Bo Sanchez sa mga company na yan. 
Ayan, so dito sa TRC, ma-access mo siya 24 hours. At pwede rin habang nagdadrive ka or before ka matulog, ay pwede mo tong i-download at pakinggan sa iyong cellphone or laptop or sa mga tablet mo. Isa din sa pinakagusto ko dito is yung gold, gold class. So dito sa gold class ay tuturuan tayo dito ng mga financial literacy. Paano mag Uh, mag-save, paano bayaran yung mga utang, etong college fund planning, and etc. Marami. Tututo ka ng financial literacy dito. Magkakaroon ka din ng chance na magkaroon ng extra income dito sa Truly Rich Club. So, paano? Through the affiliate marketing. So, dito sa Truly Rich Club ay nag offer sila ng uh, tiyatawag na affiliate marketing kung di ka familiar sa affiliate marketing. Uh, once na naging member ka ng True Rich Club at pag in-invite mo yung mga friends, relatives mo na or mga office mate mo na mag-join dito sa TRC ay uh, bibigyan ka ni TRC ng na unique affiliate link na ikaw lang pwedeng gumamit nun. Pag shinare mo tong link na to, kunyari ito, ayan, shinare mo tong link na to sa mga kaibigan mo at nag-join sila, ay magkakaroon ka ng commission dito sa True Rich Club. So, isa to sa Uh, magandang way to compensate ng TRC yung mga members nila. Yung mga members dito, hindi lang kami tinuturuan paano mag-invest. Nagkakaroon din kami ng chance na magkaroon ng extra income. Side hustle, kasi sa panahon ngayon, di ba, lalo na sa pandemic, ay importante na magkaroon ka ng side hustle. So, isa to sa magiging benefit mo sa True Rich Club. Kung interested ka to join a True Rich Club, Uh, dito sa baba ng video na to, meron kang makikitang link. Okay, yung affiliate link ko. Uh, pwede mong gamitin yan para mag-join ka at mag-member ka dito sa True Rich Club. At pag nag-join ka, using that affiliate link, ay matutulungan mo ko to support this channel. And kung ayaw mong gamitin yan link na yan, no big deal naman yan sa akin. Okay, masaya na akong i-share sa itong True Rich Club. So, ang gawin mo lang kung ayaw mong gamitin yung link na yan, punta ka lang sa truerichclub.com. Okay, so mga ka-faith, I invite you to join the True Rich Club. I-click mo lang yung link sa baba ng video na to or dyan sa comment section or dyan sa may description box, makikita mo yung link na yon Or you may just go to truerichclub.com. Okay, so thank you so much. God bless you more abundantly. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to at mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.